here today. Um, and they are giving us not only their volunteer labor, but they've uh, put up a $10,000 challenge for uh, a matching challenge for us to raise $10,000 before June 15th. And uh, one of the good, best ways to do that is be through Valley Gives Day, which is today. Yeah, yeah. So people are giving, there's a day of philanthropy where people are giving online to a number of nonprofits, Pioneer Valley Habitat for Humanity included. So it's uh, really special to me to have you guys out here. We're gonna take a few pictures, but we'll put them up on our Valley Gives Day page, talk about the Florence Bank match. Um, and so if that wasn't enough, it's also National Women Build Week. So <laughs> that's why we all get the t-shirts today um, with the commemorative 2016. Um, Habitat for Humanity builds homes, hope and community in the valley here. But when we do that, we often have, I would say more than 50% of our volunteers, maybe even 75% of our volunteers in general are women, but traditionally not at the construction site. So we did a whole Women Build project where we invited women to be more involved in the construction. And every year at least we do National Women Build Week. So there are Habitat for Humanity affiliates across the United States today all doing women build activities. So Lowe's Home Improvement sponsored National Women Build Week. They gave us a $5,000 store credit for getting more women involved. They gave us these fun t-shirts, which is why I'm making everybody put them on, sorry. Uh, but uh, we're really excited to be able to thank Lowe's for doing that for us. And it, it really shows to me that if there's a lot of community support. So we have Florence Bank, we have Lowe's, we have all of you as individuals here today to help. Um, so Walt is our site supervisor. He's going to do all the talking about what you're actually going to do today. But before I get into that, we also invited a guest to come talk about um, women in construction. 